How's it going, boys? So today we are playing the Infinite Infinity. Oh yes, and it's an obvious Tales New Storm deck, just like you probably imagined. With Mythos of Loon. Oh ho ho. Yeah. We only have two Mythoses, but trust me, it's not exactly necessary with a Thousand Year Storm deck, and you're gonna extremely see why. So we have four Revitalize, four Anticipates, two Fair Fishes, two, two Search for a Skunt, four, three Lightning Strikes, four Growth Spirals, three Settle Dine Wreckages, three Shattered Them Skies, two Chemist Insights, two Mythos of a Loon, four Wilderness Reclamation, and four Thousand Year Storms, and a bunch of lands, four Fable Passages, one Castle of Ventress. And in the sideboard we have MacGuffin City, at its finest, by, by, by far, by, by a huge margin. So yeah, this is the deck. It's super simple, super fast, super tidy, and super questionable by the opponents. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. Anyway, let's just get a cracking and see what happens. Our first is a Ragdos Avatar. Everyone's using the buy, spend money. What is this? Oh, it's a cat oven deck. That's actually sad. Oh, an advanced cat oven deck. Well, great. Well, we do have life gain, so okay. But with, 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 with a hand like this, maybe life gain is not exactly... Two, 2,000 year storms. This could be potentially, like, really, really, really good. Or potentially, like, as bad as you could imagine. Also, oh, wait, what? Maybe it's not a cat oven deck? Should have figured that one out probably by the... But we currently just, you know, uh, that's a forest, that's an island. Uh, worst hand possible. No, seriously, we, ha we have three low-costing low spells and... Oh my god, please game, please just, just stop. Okay, at least that happened. Okay, good, we're gonna be lightning striking next turn, if anything. And that is a white land, so, you know, Shattered Them Skies is a shattering proof of concept. Okay, what can we even do here currently? Well, we have options. Wow, that's... that that's... that's pretty desperate. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna use Fae of Fishes just like this. Why not? It's pretty risky. But, you know, Risky Business is our middle name. So, might as well do it, right? I have no idea what could possibly happen currently. Considering, hey, look at that, that's five lands versus three lands. Should have probably, you know, what, what I should have done. Ah, uh, yeah, the game wants me, you know, not exactly dead, but it wants me to lose, it looks like. So, you know what I, uh, you know what one thing I did with this deck? The first time I made this deck, I forgot to swap out the, the rare lands. Essentially, that's why the lands don't look like they usually look in the default setting that I, I always make. And we somehow magically did not get land screwed at all. We didn't have a single rare land, boys. Imagine that. Imagine a world where you do not have a single rare land in your deck. And I did not get mana screwed a single time. I'm gonna be experimenting with that, by the way, sooner or later. Because it seems like, well, it seems like it's just a good choice. Okay, we don't exactly have anything of value currently. And we can't cast Cell Dine Wreckage and we got rid of shat Shattered the Skies. But I do believe that this is fine. I actually have never gotten hit by this. Does it deal 6 damage? Holy shit, it actually deals 6 damage. Okay. That's pretty menacing, to say the least. And that is absolutely nothing that I require. Well played, wizards. My, uh, my, my, my hat's off, boys. Can't get a land. Again, didn't have any of these uh, rare bullshit cards. Well, lands. And I was completely fine. I have a theory why that happens. And that theory pretty much goes like this. Wizards is a cuck company that rigs everything. No, seriously. Didn't have a single rare land. Somehow, magically, I always had the colors to everything. Everything my little self desired. It was achievable. And I'm gonna experiment with that a little bit more. Obviously. 
Okay, what are the chances that I'm gonna die? I don't know, I can't deal with this. Also, enemy comes AFK. Now, now he's not AFK anymore. Anyway, play this. Uh, let's get rid of... Well, we don't need three wilderness reclamations at this point. Okay, great. Uh... Yeah, that's... Well, I'm gonna survive a little bit longer, maybe. Unless he gets a Godzilla. Or he shit. Oh! Okay, what's that? It's a planeswalker. Did you just exile and get an abortion grazer? That's pretty pathetic, not gonna lie, boy. Yeah, that's... that that That's a lot of patheticness. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? Well, one thing's for sure, we're doing this and instantaneously getting rid of the MacGuffins. And then we are... Do I care about this chump? Well, not for now, honestly. Okay. So, currently it's going as well as it could. Probably not, but again, we're playing Magic the Gathering, so, you know, not exactly... Not, not exactly... What is this guy's deck, even? How could he have a full hand of stuff, yet at the same time seemingly not have a single bit of stuff? It just, it just, it just seems, you know, wrong, to say the least. Okay, for now, am I gonna actually do anything? Two wilderness circle? Yeah, I'm gonna do stuff. Also, is there really anything you can do, enemy kun? Really? Really? Please don't. Okay, good. He pro he's probably one of those tryhards who just has, you know, the thing where he needs to click every time accept because Oh god almighty, don't let me let me misplay. <laughs> he probably wait, did he has he constantly tapped lands to pay for stuff? Oh god, I think he's one of those cretins. Well, also, some of you may say, well, that's a mistake doing this. I'm gonna say, no, it's not. I believe that I will get something better. Something that will equalize the playing field. Something that will make this not a huge mistake, which is which it obviously currently is. But remember, Bella boys, I am a firm believer in my ability to top deck something really, really, really good when I really, really need it. And there we go! See, boys? You know why he surrendered? Because he thought that I have probably a bunch of stuff to cast in my hand that I was just setting up. You see? You see? How- Raise your hand. How many of you did not believe in me right there? How many of you thought that I am gonna screw up there? Oh yeah, remember. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's being confident without any absolute reason to be confident. And my god, am I confident. So yeah, boys, that's how you do it. You essentially completely bluff your way to victory. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna start off with this. Yeah, why not? Why not? A Mythos of a Loon? Yeah, pretty decent. Do this, play that, see what happens. Okay, now it's probably not gonna be a creature-based deck. Yeah, it's probably not gonna be a creature-based deck, huh? Well, that is not exactly fine, but it's it's fine. Also, uh oh, that's a Venata deck. You son of a bitch! It's time to punish you. And I am good at one thing, boys, and one thing punishing. Oh, yes. Okay, so, now he's unhappy. Good. Wait, what does the Venata deck even do now without Agent of Treachery? Do I just laugh at him because he's playing a Venata deck and there's no Agent of Treachery? Uh, totally confused, boys, not gonna lie. Uh, a wilderness, yes, a wilderness reclamation with this thing is definitely a good option. Okay, so, our options currently are as follows. Oh, that's so cute! Oh, that's disgusting, but cute at the same time. 
Boo, but yay to you, my good sir. You, 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 you are, you did it. I hate you, and I'm gonna do this now. Why? Because I believe nothing bad will happen to me. 20 HP? What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. Nothing! Watch everything go to shit in, like, literally five seconds, boys. Pitiful. Pitiful. Okay, so, enemy con is being extremely pitiful about stuff. That's fine. Okay, so we need to co uh, we need something to copy this, and that's gonna be amazing. Oh, oh, oh god, what is that? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Again. Wait, what is- wait, what? That's a six god- what are you gonna even get? Okay. Very unimpressed enemy. Wait, that dub that's double damage. Oh, right, that's the double damage card. Okay, maybe that's a little bit tad problematic. Also, I've completely forgot to use Castle Ventress. I know, I know. I'm a horrible person. But this will now work out splendidly. Oh, yeah, this will definitely work out splendidly. Uh... Get that, get that. Oh, God, this will be absolutely perfection at its finest. I think. <laughs> I, I kind of think. Double Q pressing, by the way, boys. It, 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 it's a talent. Okay, and... Oh, yeah, right. I have everything. Okay, maybe I... It's gonna be a little bit of a challenge, but it's fine. Okay, gonna close the blinds because the sun is the dying enemy. Okay, what is this? Well, it's amazing. Wait, no. Cancel. So, first of all, resolve. Oh... <sighs> Yeah, good game indeed, my little shitty sir. Bitch. Bitch! Man, people are using this. Interesting. Okay, anyway. Uh, library. Okay, so here's the play that we can't fucking do. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> We can't do the play that I wanted to. Okay, let's see. How many cards? A lot. Uh, by the way, ve very good design, wizards. Ve very good design. I, I absolutely love indie development shit company. Okay, anyway. Double cast that. Honestly, what could possibly go wrong? This is still the play of the century, boy. Okay. Uh, no. First, we do it like this. Perfect. Double tap. And now this is doubled. Double the fun, boys. Oh, yes. Double the fun, indeed. Okay, none of that was even remotely valuable. Okay, none of that is still even remotely valuable. Game? Come on, I'm, I'm using like a million thousand year storms here. It's, it's, you, you should not do me in like this. You know? Okay, okay, I, I get it, I get it. Okay, okay, actually don't get it at all. Oh, found it. Okay, this is what I wanted, by the way. <laughs> that's that's the real shabazzle that I wanted, boys. Okay, so we're gonna do this. That's a bunch of casts. Why? Because we can play these lands now, and you know what? They're gonna be tapped. Yes, it's almost like I have done this a bunch of times and I know how this shit works out. I know, it's amazing, who would have thought. It's always- this is why I love Growth Spiral, by the way, in this deck. Wait, do I not have green? Oh god, I don't actually have green. Well, that is absolutely still almost fine. Because I can do this still. And voila! Yeah, that's a bunch of stuff. Bam! 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 And a little bit more BAM. 
Okay, now I have a bunch of cards played, and honestly, I should... No, 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 let's not do it. Okay, do we need that Thousand Year Storm? Well, do we need that Search for the Skunt? Prob... No. No. Well, actually, that's a firm yes. The Thousand Year Storm, though, is not exactly that useful. Actually, well, I'm gonna have to, like, sack almost everything I believe in now. But that's fine. Okay, boys. Oh, man. How, wait, how does even he have lands? Okay, that's very impressive, enemy con. Oh, wait, settle dying wreckage. Yet again! Okay, he should probably understand where this is going. <laughs> he really should slowly but certainly start to understand where this is going to. Okay, very impressive enemy con. You 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 did it again. What 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 an absolute mad lad. Transform. Okay, look, even a playable land. So first things, first order of business is very simple. We do this. Second order of business is very even more simpler. We do this. That's double the things that we get from the sideboard, and we are obviously gonna take one ley lines of sexiness. And then we are gonna take... Honestly, it doesn't matter what we take, but I'm gonna take this. It's time to send a message, boys. It is time to send that damn message. Okay, then we do this. That's that's three bre And he just surrenders. Well, we, we know one thing is for certain. He definitely received thine message. Oh, yes. Again. Just, just fake it till you make it. That's how this deck essentially works. Oh, he has a full hand of stuff? It can't possibly go wrong for him. Turns out he doesn't even have anything usable in that hand. But they still all surrender like one. Why? Because this game's played by cowards! Cowards, I tell you. There's not a single shared amongst them. Well, what can we do? That's why we make these decks. But, yeah, probably gonna wake up tomorrow. No, tomorrow's workday, so it's not gonna happen. But it's probably gonna be like. No, like, there isn't a Reeve deck. Like, I wake up, fire up some magic, masturbate. Again, you should not know about that. And, you know, uh, I get cucked by my Risen Reeve deck. Great stuff, boys, great stuff. Okay, two whites green and everything is fine and dandy in the world. How will this end poorly for me, I wonder? Well, all we have to do is just wait and see. Does this not do anything if I click on it a lot? Eh, it doesn't do anything. That's lame. Okay, so first things first. Do we need a s- Yes, we do! I'm not gonna make the mistake. Um, also, this is a pl is this something new that people are, like, doing and, you know, they're getting kicks and giggles out of it or something? You know, it seems... It seems... And I don't want to deal with this crap. Okay, great. So... I really want my lightning strike back. You know? Just, 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 just essentially saying. Are you gonna discard the card and make this into a tooth? Oh, what it... Oh. Motherfucker still has Ulamog in there. It's not even a Ulamog deck and he still has Ulamog in there. Boys, look at this. This is a rat deck and it has Ulamog in it. A rat Ulamog deck. What can I say? What can I say? Nothing. But we do have everything set up for absolute perfection. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, whatever, enemy. Come just do your stupid things. Our pack red day. You know what would the real pack red red deck look like? It would have Helm of the Host inside it. 100% guaranteed, by the way. Helm of the Host to do the most. Okay, gonna do this. Do we need? Yes, we probably need it. So we're gonna do it like this. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, that actually changes our plans. Just a little bit, but it does change our plans. 
Okay, is he gonna attack with everything? Yes, he does. Well, get settled down wreckage the pawn, as always. You're gonna probably make a react path, but uh, no one cares. Essentially, no one cares because I can lightning strike it. Okay, ooh. Well, enemy con. That's nice, but suddenly that's not gonna do enough. You know, it's almost sad, but w seriously, what's happening? Did did did, did any YouTuber make like a bi big rack rat pack video or something like that? Because that's that's the only way situations like this ever happen. You know, someone made a video and that's that's pretty much all she wrote. Okay, how am I gonna play this? Well, obviously like this. Uh No. Okay, so I want the third spell essentially at this point. What could that third spell though be? Woo! That's a big one. Wait a minute. Ah, that's a problem. Um, humbug. I don't think I'm gonna win at this rate. Ouch. Okay, draw something really good. That's not even remotely close to the word fucking good game. Okay, doesn't really matter, I guess. Okay, so what can I draw that makes a difference? I'm not sure. Probably nothing. Hmm. Olamog decks, they're everywhere. Okay. Oh, that was a bunch of lands. Look at that. That was the better half of my all, all my lands. That's not even a bad Ulamog discard. Boys. That's that's not even horrendous. Pretty bad though. But not even horrendous. Okay, oh wait, 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 wait. Okay. So Well Well what can I do? We we have three thousand year storms out, but you know. Not not exactly pleasantries. Okay, I think we're pretty dead. Yeah, we're pretty dead. So, is this just an Olmog deck that uses rat those rats to discard things? It could be like it. I'm not 100% sure. But, I do get some ideas from it. Because, again, Co uh, Cabal Stronghold is a card that we can use and abuse in so many different ways, say, shapes, and sizes. Huh. Well, whatever. Let's just let's just hit that play button one more time. Okay, so that's not a rat deck. It's just a uh, um, Ulmog deck in disguise yet again. I feel like that is the case. Okay, not exactly the colors that I want, but what could possibly go wrong? Ooh. Huh. Okay. Okay, do we need the red land? Yes, we do. Okay, that red land is gonna go a long way. Also, look at the art. Pretty good. Okay! Oh, come on. It's just... Treasure Hunt is so fucking ass, I can't honestly even get over it. You see, the problem with Treasure Hunt decks is that... Well, they just win against certain stuff. I'm also not exactly sure, 100% uh, sure, how it's supposed to work against the, uh, uh, with the, uh, Tess's Oracle. If Tess's Oracle has zero, does it do, what happens then? Does it do zero and I still lose? Or how is that supposed to work? Because again, I don't exactly have any idea. Well, anyway, we have a chance for that last dance. 
Mathematically, this deck is impossible to fail, especially by Wizard's Algorithm also. All you need to do is mulligan down to a treasure hunt on turn 2, and you kinda... Well, pretty much win the game. It's impossible to fail with M uh, Mystic Sanctuary in hand. Well, you know, we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. Also, props to everyone who has... Uh, the tower thing that I forgot, completely forgot the name of. Because, you know, that tower thing is 10 out of 10. It does not require you to discard all your goddamn hand. And that's amazing. Zalfram Void, really now? Okay, Zalfram Void it is. Okay, let's see. Treasure hunt for four. If he got the test as a rockle already, yeah, yes. Okay, well we're gonna see for science what exactly happened. What? Seriously? Oh, he needs to get rid of the last cards. Oh, that's interesting. Did he screw up, essentially? I have no idea what just happened between one treasure hunt deck and that's 10 out of 10. Okay, wow, yeah, uh... Skill! Woo! I did it! Essentially, kinda. Okay. So. Onward we go, I guess. Yeah, perfection, boys. What is this? Oh my god, it's no one cares, I call you a card. Okay, so let's just continue onward and see what happens. Technically, something good is about to happen sooner or later, so yay again. Okay, boys, so this is the plan. This is the last game, so in, in the recording collection that I received from my boss to comment on, this is supposed to be the best game, you know? What could pass? Oh god, look at the lands. Why didn't he mulligan? He's against aggro vampires! How is this even salvageable? Oh, he got search for a scant. That may actually solve everything. Oof. Man. The, the guy's playing this is probably an idiot. Okay. Uh. Definitely take action. <laughs> oh, look at that. He had a Knight of Ebon Legion. Okay, I don't exactly see how this is salvageable. This is probably barely palpable. At best. Okay, so he attacks. That's three damage. Uh, I'm gonna take this because that's our best shot at currently finding a white land. It actually worked also. Okay, so this uh, the the fourth white lane is probably not be uh, too far behind the corner, and that's great. Vampire! Oh god, it's a soaring chan. Okay, what 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 why? Why what what's happening? Okay, that was four damage now, so great stuff. A search for a scant, a completely useless. Okay, that's that's amazing. Um, play this, see what happens. Okay, nothing happened. Okay, uh, yeah. Right. Okay, even better. Oh. Oh. I see now. Perfect. Okay, so all he needs to do is drop a vampire now and I'm dead. Graveyard. Okay, that's amazing. Okay, so here's the plan. We, we can't do anything to win from this point because again... Yeah, this never by... Again, I just want to emphasize the fact that this crap... I, I did... I played like five games with no rare lands and I never got even remotely land screwed. Not a single game I was even close to getting a land screwed. There were... From those five games, I started two with four lands, each of the colors. Each of the colors! 
And here we can't find anything. Boy, makes you really think. Okay, boys, I was not, I was mistaken. This is not, that was not the last game. This is the last game. This is the last game. So, yeah. Also, a lot of people seem to not know that this is pre-recorded and I'm not, uh, and the guy, I, me, the guy talking is not even playing the game. You know? It seemed kind of strange. I thought people knew that. But I guess it's fine, you know? So you wonder, is he gonna mulligan or keep? I'm gonna bet he keeps. Yeah, he just kept. Well, well, amazing. So, considering I watched this a lot, he most likely will start off with a breathing. Yeah, he's hovering over the breathing pool. Idiot, you can't play that just yet. What is this? An inquisitive puppet. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so definitely starting off with a breathing pool, huh? And he started off with not a breathing pool. Oh, God. Stop making my job hard! Well, that's probably fine in some alternative dimension. A gargoyle. Do we have... Yeah, we have to... Oh, God, what is this? Well, it's clearly stuff. Well, that's impressive zero damage stuff on one hand. Okay, on the other... A free revitalize. Didn't even take damage, but here you go, revitalize. Hmm. Everything currently looks okay. At the bare minimum. Okay, more revitalizes. Now the good part is, I don't even need to use revitalize at the moment. Okay. Okay, cut. Just, just do it. God, that puppet is so ugly. But that waifu you get out of the puppet, puppet is so good, though. Okay, what are you gonna do? No, seriously. Oh, you're gonna buff all these things with the enchantment that makes them real strong and whatnot. That's unfair. Yep. Obviously. Dude, that is so unfair. Because we did not get to go first. If we got to go first, this is, like, a lot more palatable instantaneously. Okay, should probably stop using the word palatable, considering I don't exactly know what it means. Okay, so, revitalize. Let's, let's, let's start from the top. Okay, good. We did it. Oh, he's using the song cards, huh? Okay, what could, what, what can I do with... Well, if you come... Jesus Christ. What a fair game, boys. What an abs what, what what an absolute pinnacle of fairness, if I may add. Okay, doesn't really matter for us. We do have a way to deal with this crap, but yeah, that's a lot of MacGuffins right there, boys, not gonna lie. Oh my god! Good game. Attack with everything. Good aggro schmuck. Yeah, good game indeed. Bitch. Yeah, I need to make a deck with this faster. It's gonna fit in really good in the Forge World deck. That I can tell you for a fact pretty easily. Actually, it honestly fits into, like, everything real good. And now we can do this. And, yes, found the land. Perfection, boys. Perfection. Uh, let's see... Well, the sad part is we need to pretty much clear the board every time he does anything now. Jesus Christ, look at that. Okay, so we're not exactly playing anything, huh? Oh god, a Steel Observer, huh? I honestly do think this is a little bit overkill considering you already have a DAT available to you. But, I guess it's not my place to judge. Well, it completely 100% is. Just trying to be, like, real coy and- Oh, ho, 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 ho! oh my god! Now that is gonna be one extremely disappointed person. Sad. Not really. Okay, so, do that. Do this. And... Chemist's inside again soon. Wait. Do I lose because reasons? I think I can lose now because reasons. Okay, let's get rid of this. 
Okay, v very, very good, very good. Okay, we are drawing like the worst cards hands possible at the moment. This is not, this is actually not funny. <laughs> This, this, this is not funny. We are drawing far too many Wilderness Reclamations, Thousand Year Storms. We still have three storms to draw. And that thing has haste! Are you kidding me? All you needed to do was not draw a haste creature. Also, all you needed to do was not draw four steel tempos. But, you know, that's probably the low-balling side of the coin. So, yeah, that was amazing. Anyway, this is a thousand year storm deck. It's <laughs> well, it's it, it's pretty much what you see here is what you get. It's a little bit well, it's just that that just that smidgen bad. There is one thing that you can do, and is uh, you can get rid of two wilderness reclamations because in reality we never need more than two for this deck to work out. But if you never draw it, then it's you know, then it's bad again. So yeah. There are small alterifications that you can do with this, and it's gonna be cool. But, you know, it's a pretty good deck. It's a pretty fun deck, and, you know, whatever. So, this was Kozar Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel, check out the Discord, check out the Patreon, check out the everything. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.